Well, welcome. This is Rocky Romero with Peers on the Man, and it's just my pleasure to be able to introduce to you Pat Borg with Synergetics. Uh, Pat, welcome. Thank you, Rocky. Thanks for having me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, so let's say, fine. I've done some consulting work with a company called um, Exec HQ. They're all C-suite executives, and I was fortunate earlier this year to take on a consulting assignment for the Synergetics Corporation. Let me tell you about Synergenics. I really enjoy this uh, this assignment that I'm on, kind of a long-term assignment. Synergenics are headquartered in Las Vegas, Nevada. They have 20 clinics through the United States and 10 international. They don't have any business in Canada. Synergenics is the largest um, professional age management uh, elite medicine cor company in the world, actually. They've been in business 23 years. Um, they're the guys that say, fine, you know, that doctors go to, they get trained. I mean, doctors tend to work terrible hours, 25 hours a day. So who looks after the doctor? Think about Cynogenic as the doctor's doctor. That's what they do. In terms of my, I say, I'm a guy that's uh, uh, 67 years old. That's my chronological age. That's what it says in my driver's license. I got to tell you, I am not 67 years old. A lot of that I thank to the Synergenics Corporation, being a patient for the last eight years, and now kind of proud to be able to work for them as a consultant developing their business. We call it there, the work I do is their map for marketing, advertising, and promotion. So, you find, so trying to bring out kind of the awareness on this, if you walked into a bookstore, Barnes & Noble, and went down the, uh, the diet uh, book section, diet, fats, and things along that line, that's the biggest aisle in the bookstore. And the reason it is because none of the books work. If there was one, there'd be the book. Where I'm going with this is Synergenic literally wrote the book on age management health. Um, so, find, so it's a book to say doctors go to to get involved with that. It's all kind of elite medicine, uh, I think quite affordable. You may be familiar with something like Mayo. You went for one day or two day executive uh, assessment. You may go to Canyon Ranch. Synergenics does that also too, but again with 20 centers through the U.S. And I, my personal opinion is any hard-charging CEO, male or female, should be on the Synergenics program. And you can follow this more. You say find if you went on the website, synergenics.com. Yeah, so I'm wondering if you might be able to share a story with somebody that's received tremendous value by working with you or taking Synergenics. And I know that you're, you're – Probably the best example of that. Thanks, Rocky. That belongs to you know, a couple of business associations I belong to. Say, if I'm on, my, on the board of uh, the Toronto, Chicago, Sister Cities board here, uh, the Orthogenic School, their privately held school, there's four of them in the Chicago area. I sit on their board. Uh, but the biggest one for me, the most career influence one, has been YPO. Young President's Organization. I was fortunate to join YPO when I was 38. So it's been you know 30 years I've been on it now. I'm here in Chicago. Uh, YPO has about uh, just under 500 chapters through the world. Uh, 30, 29,000 people belong to YPO around the world. It's the largest uh, organization of president CEOs, to say, in the world. I was fortunate here in Chicago when I moved to Chicago. I was in YPO Toronto. We transferred to YPO Chicago and knew nobody. Like literally, my wife Nancy and I, we knew nobody. But through my YPO connections, was invited to go on the board, went up the ladder, became the chapter chairman, regional chairman, international chairman. One of the fellows that helped me, me a good friend of mine at the time, who I met, a fellow named Bruce Taylor, who was the chairman of Cole Taylor Bank. Bruce came to me and kind of was impressed with how I was able to kind of move ahead through the executive ladder. And I said, well, that was really good people that surrounded me and helped me along. So part of my you know, mantra, business mantra is, you know, pay it forward or help other guys. So I was fortunate with Bruce. I said, with your background experience, if you respectfully, you should follow me up the ladder. And Bruce did. I mean, it was really as a mentor to Bruce. And I always view the mentorship role as not do what I do. Kind of as a mentor, you know, stay found similar values, business values, uh, organization skills as you. How can you open doors for them? That to me is a true mentor. So I was able to do that for Bruce, who followed me up kind of a chapter chair, a regional chair, and then two years after I served my term of office, because you do term out, Bruce was able, say, fine, to take over the, sit on the international board, of YPO2. I mean, he'll thank me to this day, but all I really did is open a door, or, you know, part of my business uh, mantra is I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. 
And that's really how, uh, how it worked out for me and glad to help because other people helped me before. So why wouldn't I do the same for anybody else who asks? What, can you share who an ideal client or connection or person that you would want to be connected to? The ideal client for me, I think, or person I want to talk to, it, it may sound like we don't sell it, Cynogenics. Here's the program, why it may be beneficial to you. And you may say, it's great for me today. I'm interested. It's great for me, but not at this point in time, or I'm not also too. So I think any business leader, I'm going to use that example, again, male or female, it just works out that about 80% are male, 20% are female, that type of thing. They want to look after their health. They don't want to feel as old as they do. Again, I refer back to the, you know, the uh, biological age and your chronological age. So, so many people say, fine, my chronological age, on my driver's license, but you don't have to feel that way. You just don't. Probably when you are 25 years old, you're in the best shape of your life in terms of sprung up for business, take on the world. That's just the way it was. And over time, kind of maybe kind of winded down because, you know, kind of uh, traveling, uh, eating poorly, family, all those things that we, the weight of the world on your shoulder. How can you help eliminate that or certainly reduce it? So I use the example of kind of business people, but anybody can go through this program. I don't think it's expensive. I mean, if you broke it down to be on the Cenogenics program, where you have a Cenogenics doctor for life, or as long as you're on the program, the clinic you walk out to, the equivalent cost is about $19 a day. So if you wanted to break it down and say, well, that's probably three Starbucks super latte macchi macchiatos, you know, that type of thing, or you know, maybe half the cost of your golf club membership for year, maybe the cost of your luxury car rental for year. So you break it down for it is what it is. You know, that type of thing. So, I mean, who should be on the program? It's anybody who is not necessarily concerned about their health, but want to have a better lifestyle. I mean, just that's just the way it works out. And people will go off to executive retreats. Again, I use the example of Canyon Ranch for the Mayo Clinic and say, fine, but why would you incorporate this on your day to day life? Cenogenics is a part of my day to day life. I've just built it in because I want to look better feel better and stay fine and you know, work for as long as I'm viable and able. Somebody might be able to reach you and get a hold of you if they have an interest. How would that be? The associations that I belong to, say fine, you just pop up on Google, Pat Borg, say fine.